Ladies and gentlemen, former Saints wide receiver and fan favorite Jarvis Landry called out head coach Dennis Allen and the Saints organization. It's no secret that Dennis Allen has not been a fan favorite since he took over the Saints as head coach in 2022 after the surprise retirement of Sean Payton. Dennis Allen did get off to a good start though in his first offseason as the Saints head coach, drafting wide receiver Chris Olave and cornerback Alante Taylor. He signed safety Tyron Matthew, which a lot of Saints fans love since he's an LSU hometown guy. And he also went after a franchise quarterback in Deshaun Watson, which was definitely iffy given the situation, but at least he tried to go after a franchise quarterback. And then after all of this, he ended up signing Jarvis Landry, which won a lot of the fan base over. Going into 2022, Dennis Allen had his team set, and a big reason why the offseason felt so good and so promising was because of the Jarvis Landry signing. A good slot player to complement Chris Olave, and a healthy Michael Thomas with the talents of Jameis Winston throwing the football, plus Jarvis Landry's veteran leadership qualities was a huge addition to this team. Plus, the fact that Jarvis Landry played at LSU was a fan favorite, and the team signed him for cheap was a huge win for the Saints and the fan base in general. And in that week one game versus the Atlanta Falcons, we saw exactly what we all thought we'd be getting from the Saints offense, including wide receiver Jarvis Landry, a great slot wide receiver who made plays when the team needed him most in that comeback versus the Atlanta Falcons, and he complimented wide receiver Michael Thomas well, but Landry was actually the leading receiver to start that season. And after that win, Jarvis Landry actually went on Instagram Live talking about how the Saints had championship effort in the regular season, which I mean that just showcased his leadership qualities. And after that week one game and that talk from Jarvis Landry on Instagram Live, that was the kind of leadership and level of play we all expected from Jarvis Landry. But after that week one game, we didn't really get to see much of Landry ever again. He had 7 catches on 9 targets for 114 yards in that first game. And after that, in 8 games, he had 30 targets with 18 catches for 158 yards in the touchdown. Jeez, I mean all of his production that season came from one game. However, this wasn't all of his fault. He was dealing with injuries throughout the season, but he also had Pete Carmichael calling plays and he didn't know how to utilize anyone to their full potential or how to get their star players involved. Then on top of that, Dennis Allen had benched quarterback Jameis Winston for a cheaper version of Derek Carr and Andy Dalton. And this actually didn't go well with Jarvis Landry and we'll get into that in just a minute because things get a little bit spicy. After that 2022 season, Jarvis Landry has yet to sign with another team since. And given some of the injuries to the team in 2023, some fans wanted the team to sign Jarvis Landry back to the roster, simply just because of his name and where he went to college. But there was apparently some bad blood between Jarvis Landry and the Saints for an office going on behind the scenes that we did not know about. There have been some hints, whispers, and reports of there being bad blood from Nick Underhill when he was asked if the Saints should re-sign wide receiver Jarvis Landry saying that they didn't end on the best terms and that there's kind of some bad blood but didn't really say what fully happened. But Nick Underhill on one of their podcasts actually mentioned that Jarvis Landry was upset with the situation in 2022. He had taken a cheap team friendly deal with the saints to come and play with Jameis winston play with Jameis. that's the key that's the key thing here but then by week four of 2022 Jameis winston was benched and he lost his job due to injury even though the policy is you don't lose your job due to injury and after Jameis was benched he would never start another game in the regular season for the saints again so when you throw in the fact that he was misused by Pete Carmichael and the offensive system sucked, the contract he took was to help the team and be a team friendly deal. And let's not forget that Jarvis Landry wasn't the only player who was misused and not utilized to their strengths that season or in the 2023 season as well. Pete Carmichael didn't know how to utilize Jameis Winston to his strengths. He was so used to Drew Brees and his style of play and that kind of quarterback of a game manager, he didn't know what to do with Jameis Winston. That's why they preferred quote unquote Andy Dalton because he was a game manager, but Jameis Winston simply was someone who they just didn't know how to utilize. Then they underutilized Alvin Kamara, Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, Rashid Chihi. I mean, the list goes on and on. Chris Olave wasn't being utilized over the middle. Same with Rashid Shahid. They didn't get them yards after the catch. They won run screens to Alvin Kamara. They didn't have another running back to use. Pete Carmichael, I mean, he didn't even use Taysom Hill when that was the only thing that really worked on offense that season. He just continued to go away from what worked and didn't want to get guys in the right position to have success. So it wasn't just a Jarvis Landry issue. 
2022. It was an entire offensive team player issue. And even in 2023, it was the same things with P. Carmichael. Some players and some coaches just never change. He was also dealing with injuries and the fact that the quarterback he came to the Saints to play with was benched by week four due to injury, there is definitely going to be some frustration. And what makes this worse is we saw what this offense could have been with Jarvis Landry and James Winston in that week one game. We saw the flashes, it was there. We saw what they could do together, but it just simply didn't work out. But as of recently, Jarvis Landry went on some Twitter rants talking about how there aren't that many receivers better than him and that he deserves a starting shot. He also took shots at the Cleveland Browns and basically said he doesn't care about the price, but he just wants an opportunity. But in a recently deleted tweet in the midst of this Twitter rant about the Browns and his price and the receivers not being better than him around the NFL, he did take shots at Dennis Allen and the Saints organization. Jarvis Landry tweeted out, came off a 500 yard season in 12 games and took 3 million just to get shit on. When I asked the Saints why I don't feel valued, they told me I'm doing exactly what they want from me. I said I have 25 catches and we're losing games. Look at my targets per game, never was about a check with me, ever. So Jarvis Landry is basically saying that Dennis Allen was okay with mediocrity and not getting the best out of his players. Basically saying keep doing what you're doing, which is what Dennis Allen is most known for. But we already knew how much Dennis Allen accepted mediocrity when he signed Derek Carr to that huge contract and the fact that he loves him so much. Jarvis Landry came off of two solid seasons with the Browns while dealing with some injuries and when he signed with the Saints for 3 million that was a steal and a team friendly deal which favored the Saints for sure. All of this only for the Saints to misuse him and for the first time in his NFL career he had under 500 yards which came as a Saint which came as a Saints wide receiver in a bad system with bad coaching and bad quarterback play under a bad head coach. Like I said, Dennis Allen essentially told him to keep doing what he's doing even though he felt undervalued and underutilized. Now what's interesting about this, I posted this tweet on Instagram and under my post about the drama between Jarvis Landry and the Saints organization, two players who were on the Saints in 2023 actually liked this post which in my opinion would indicate they feel the same way about the team as Jarvis Landry did. You have Lynn Bowden and running back Jamal Williams liking this post, which might be an indication that the players weren't bought into Dennis Allen last season like we all thought. You have multiple players who played for Dennis Allen and the Saints essentially telling us with their words and their actions that this guy is trash and his culture is complete dog shit. And let's not forget that Michael Thomas has been saying this all along. But Michael Thomas was called a team cancer at Drama Queen and that he was begging for attention and they called him crazy. So does that mean Jarvis Landry is crazy as well? Is Jarvis Landry also a Drama Queen begging for attention? Is he also a locker room cancer? Or does that only apply to Michael Thomas? Very interesting. Either way, as we've all thought and speculated, Dennis Allen is a ass head coach. The players, former Saints players as well, are telling us through the words and actions that this dude simply isn't it. We've been getting signs about it, Jarvis Landry is just now another player displaying evidence to the Saints fan base. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.